she won the Irish Oaks in good fashion, but uh, her run in the Yorkshire Oaks was disappointing to say the least. And you'd have to wonder about it at this stage of year. She certainly wouldn't want to be one of our leading hopes on form at this time. Hatouf, Wally, I know you've, you've news of Hatouf, haven't you? You saw that one work? Yes, I mean, she looked, she looked very good working. Um, I know that she won in America on the firm ground, but I would, you know, just worry a little bit about conditions there. Uh, Celtic Arms, the French derby winner, uh, who would probably be one of the outsiders, you would have thought, here, only 11th of 20 in the... Not that... not beaten that far, in truth, uh, by Carnegie. There's Vaudeville, uh, ridden by Gary Stevens, uh, one of the American runners here. Unraced uh, as a two-year-old, that one, That's Vaudeville. Uh, and the next one uh, that we'll see is Volashein. Uh, Volashein, another one of the French contenders. Third to Rain Trap in the Rothmans International. Uh, the next runner is a particularly interesting one, though. Uh, there it is, only Royale. Uh, John Gosden, word from Frankie, is pretty promising, isn't it? <coughs> yes, he spoke to me the other day. He was very pleased with this uh, mare. And, you know, the way she won the Yorkshire Oaks, she was unlucky in the arc. She's coming there fresh. In my mind, she has to be our best hope in the race. There's Tickenen, Tickenen, uh, another French runner. Uh, and the next we see White Muzzle. Wally, are you a little surprised to see White Muzzle running here after the disappointment in the Rothmans? Well, it's most certainly as regards that, but I can tell you the work watchers think this horse has been going particularly well. And I spoke to John, when I spoke to John Reed on Wednesday, he said it was very interesting. The horse was going on the right leg round the fence. And he's, he's quite confident you're going to get a good race out of White Muzzle this evening. Well, there's Hernando as well, uh, another one of the French runners that they think will go particularly well. And uh, I suppose, John, Paradise Creek, uh, this <coughs> is the one to beat, really, isn't it? Will, pa will Paradise Creek stay, is the question. Well, look, he's a great big, huge, plain horse, wonderful character. He won the Arlington Million and the Washington DC International in, in devastating style, but mile and a quarter. This is the first time he's ever tried a mile and a half. To do it in the, in the Breeders' Cup is a tough thing to do, but if he stays, he wins. If he doesn't, then... Uh, I'd be looking towards something like only Royale. Mm, 23 runs without ever going a mile and a half. Here's Ian with the betting. Fascinating thing, Paradise Creek, five to four in this country. It was a bit shorter with some firms. A shade more than that uh, at Churchill Downs at the moment, about eight to five. But five to four-ish in this country, six to one Hernando, nine Satouf, 10 to one only Royale and Tikanen, 12 Vaudeville. They go 16 to one White Muzzle. A bit disappointing lately, it would have to be said. Also 16's Rain Trap. 22 Freres, 25 to 1 Bolas and Intrepidity, 33 Volashin, and 50 to 1 Dahlia's Dreamer and Celtic Arms. Oh, National, given too much to do, we assume in the arc when finishing sixth to Carnegie, there's Celtic Arms going in as well now. A uh, bit disappointing uh, in the arc, but only beaten four lengths or so in the end by Carnegie. Vaudeville, uh, one of the American horses there. Uh, only run six times in total, so relatively inexperienced. Dead here with Overbury in the American Derby uh, at Arlington. And uh, Bonshine going in 40 to 1. Good value of the European horses over there, no question about that, whatever. Dahlia's Dreamer goes in, and Bolas going in as well. Bolas just causing one or two problems. Barry Hills, her um, Irish St. Ledger winner, of course. Cheshire Oaks winner, the Ribblesdale winner as well, but then disappointing for the Yorkshire Oaks, just fifth of seven, sweated up on that occasion, went too freely to post, and uh, doesn't look to be enjoying things too much at present either at the moment, but has gone in. Here's our commentator, Tom Durkin. Bill comes out quickly, and Bolas is out there to flash her speed and establish the early lead, or rather make that Dahlia's Dreamer. Bolas moving on the outside now to be second. Vaudeville is in between horses, running third in the early going. Celtic Arms had to check, and check hard indeed did Celtic Arms. And then it's Paradise Creek, who's up close to the pace on the outside now, edging into fourth position. In between horses, it's a rain trap now running in fifth. Then toward the inside, Bolashin is sixth in the early going. Fraze is now running in seventh. He's about seven lengths from the early front runners. Only Royale is in between horses, running in eighth position. Celtic Arms has a ground-saving trip so far. And then it's White Muzzle, who's drafting in behind horses in the early going. Near the back of the pack, our intrepidity, Hernando, is now running 12th of of 14, Hatouf is 13th, and Tikkanen has the last spot as they move by us for the first time. 
solid fractions here, 23 and 3 and 46 and 4 for the half mile. Dahlia's Dreamer is the pacemaker. And the Paradise Creek is moving early now. He's edging toward the lead on the outside. Bolas is right there in between horses. And Vaudeville has had a perfect trip so far, saving ground all the way as they make their way into the backstretch. Volo Sheen drafting in behind horses, running in fifth. Celtic Arms is sixth toward the inside, and only Royale. White Muzzle is now being helped along about seven lengths from the lead. Then it's Hernando, who is yet to put in his best run as they continue their run up the backstretch. And Paradise Creek has taken the lead with less than a half mile to run. It is Paradise Creek now the leader. Vaudeville right there to challenge him with a half mile to go. Dahlia's Dreamer couldn't keep up the pace and now fades to third. Celtic Arms now toward the inside, running in fourth position. White Muzzle is in between horses. Hernando had to check as the field moved into the far turn. Hernando has lost all chance. He checked hard in behind Dahlia's Dreamer. They're rounding the far turn. Pat Day, Paradise Creek, a slim lead. Vaudeville, a stiff challenge for the would-be champion as the field turns for home. Tikkanen, who was last as they pass this for the first time, is now a hard-charging third as they come to mid-stretch. Only Royal is right there running in fourth. Paradise Creek still holding on to a short lead. One more bold challenge from Tikkanen, who surges past Paradise Creek as they come down to the line. Hatouf is coming late, 50 yards from the line. Tikkanen in front. Hatouf, Paradise Creek third today. It is Tikkanen who scores in the mile and a half turf. And then Hatu finishing second. It was close for third intrepidity or Paradise Creek taken in from last to first to win it here in record time. Two minutes, 26th and two fifth seconds. Pennsylvania, Georgia. All right. Uh, it was taken in proving that his trip from France to win the turf classic at Belmont was no fluke. And Paradise Creek seemed to have this race won. Pat Day, confident as ever, has not even gone to the whip, riding with such confidence. It looks like he's going to breeze home, and suddenly, perhaps, that mile and a half catches up with Paradise Creek. He just stops. Day, perhaps a little late, goes to work with a whip, but it's too late. Teakin and his by him and on the way to the finish. In fact, Paradise Creek begins to shorten his stride, and it will be Hernando, or Hatouf, it is that comes up to get him for second. But look at Tikkanen. Tikkanen and jockey Mike Smith blowing by in the stretch and coming to a clear margin here in the Breeders' Cup turf in new course record time.